What you got in your mouth? Why aren't you? Yeah, run, run, run. Run, run, run. How come you're letting these, these little chicks get out? Why are you letting that happen, Fifi? I don't know what's going on. I almost stepped on you. It's hard to see you sometimes. No, you gotta go home. You gotta go home and share whatever that is dangling from your mouth. Good evening from Bobblehead Homestead. I am Jeff. Today is Saturday. It was 94 and sunny and humid, but we've got a really nice breeze coming in through right now, and it's kind of cloudy, so it's probably cooled down into the mid 80s, then I'll take it, because I'm just drenched in sweat. Um, Bob? Bob? Yeah, not a, not a lot going on today, because it's hot and I'm just doing what I got to do. Right, Bob? Here's a few eggs from today, and I'm really excited about that one. I think that one is from uh, a pullet who's just starting to lay, and that's a nice medium, white olive, medium green egg. So, and I've got a few of her sisters who are due to start hatching, due to start laying any day now, and uh, so I look forward to more medium, white olive, green eggs. No, ladies, I don't have any treats for you. You got food in your bowl. Sorry, Larry's other brother, Daryl. No treats. It's almost bedtime. What are you doing, cutie? This is a video camera. I'm getting video of you guys. And girl. The one in the front's a girl. Um, I think all three of those might be girls. Yep, you're a girl. That is a black copper moron's pullet. They still got a couple months before they start laying. That's a black copper moron's root, uh, cockerel. He won't start laying. But if you're a good boy, I'll keep you. Yes, I will if you're a good boy. Oh, there's a blue copper marons. Those are pretty birds. What else we got going on around here? There's one of number two's grandkids. Yeah. And the pretty black copper marons girl. Grumpy, is that you all the way down there? There he is. Get windy, buddy. I wasn't calling you two, I was calling Grumpy. Meow. 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 What is it? Everybody wants my attention right now? Bob, be a good boy. Bob, be a good boy. Yeah, be a good boy.
What do you say, boys? I think it's time for bed. I think you should all just go hop back in that coop so I can close the door and I don't have to walk back out here again. That's uh, number two grandson who's got the same coloring as Larry. <laughs> so that's an interesting combination. A little crest on the head. It's another one of our grandsons, but he's white and brown. Go to bed, little girl. Go to bed, little girl. I'm gonna come in there. I'm coming. You know it's time for bed. You're the only one out. She knows. Yeah, and then you're gonna run around. No, you're not. This one's smart. Grumpy still refuses to come home before dark. He'll sit in the road until dark, but he won't come home. You're a goofy kitty, Mr. Grumpy. And there we have my magazine. You know, when I got here, I could see all the way across the top of the mountain without the trees in the way. All of those trees have grown a few feet, so few more years there won't be any view of Magazine Mountain from here. Alright, I just got everybody put to bed except for the flock out front because they always go to bed last. They're young. They, uh, they think they can stay up all night. Um, and uh, it takes me about a half an hour to go around and close everybody's uh, coop and I always do one last check for eggs. Uh, sometimes I wait until after dark, like last night I was editing a video, so I didn't get back outside until like 10 after 9, um, and I try not to do that. I try to be out here right at dark because last night I saw a possum uh, right outside the fence of number two's flock, and oh, what was it, about a week ago I saw a raccoon. Um, it was uh, back further away uh, after dark I saw that. Also last night, I caught a black rat snake in uh, the nesting boxes out there, one of the Morans. So luckily, I don't think the, the snake got any eggs um, because I check them throughout the day and I do not leave eggs in the nesting box overnight. If you want to attract snakes, don't collect your eggs during the day. And at night, they will come and get them and then they'll just keep coming back. So. Hopefully that snake I saw last night didn't get anything, so it won't be back, but I'll still make another round after dark and, and check. The snakes really aren't, um, uh, they're no threat to the chickens, uh, just the black rat snake. That was a pretty big one, though. Uh, they're no threat to the bigger chickens. They would be to smaller chicks, so, um, yeah, the best thing to do for snakes is just collect your eggs often. And, um, yeah, and I don't want to just kill off all the black rat snakes because then that opens up a territory for the bad ones to come in. So, uh, in fact, what I should do is start catching the black rat snakes and take them down to my new place and, uh, so they can help drive off any of the bad snakes that would be around there. Um, so yeah, I set the trap. Let's go have a look at that real quick. Traps are set. We'll see if that works. One going one way, one going the other way, and the eggs are kind of up against the middle. Yep, just put a few eggs in each one. That's what I've been using. The eggs are free. I don't have to pay for them. Uh, you can use all kinds of other baits, but the eggs have worked for me. I've caught a bunch of uh, raccoons and possums before, so we'll see. What I normally do is if I catch them, that's a live trap. If I catch them, I'll take them out in the middle of the forest and uh and leave them be out there and i usually leave them a few eggs for a snack and uh yeah but who knows maybe the that raccoon i saw might have been one of the little ones that i released last year you never know but uh i have not lost any chickens to predators since um uh since last summer so yeah i think it's probably been over a year since i've lost a chicken to a predator so that is a good thing uh, what else? And, oh, I saw a deer yesterday afternoon. 
It was like right at right at 6 p.m. I had only been up from my nap a little bit, and I went outside, and there was a deer, uh, broad daylight. And yeah, I didn't have my camera with me, but hopefully I can I can catch that deer again. All right, that's all I got for tonight. Uh, an uneventful Saturday. I'm on the hunt for raccoons and possums, and uh, just so I can rehome them. Thanks for watching. Thanks for everything. Take her easy.